Hey, everyone. Happy to have you back as we continue our exploration of the different procedures for administering medication. This lesson focuses on drugs given through a patient's mouth and the different techniques of administering these medications, which are oral, buccal, and sublingual. In order to best understand these different administration techniques, first we need to identify the basic anatomy of the mouth. The main anatomy of the mouth includes the teeth, the tongue, the buccal area, which is the cheek lining, and the sublingual area, or the area underneath the tongue. Understanding this anatomy and how each one affects drug administration is important. For instance, the buccal area inside the cheek and the sublingual area under the tongue are rich in blood vessels, facilitating rapid medication absorption. The key differences in the techniques involving this anatomy are speed of action, bioavailability, first-pass metabolism avoidance, ease of use, and formulation requirements. First-pass metabolism refers to the processing of medication through the liver prior to entering the bloodstream. This processing in the liver can potentially lower the amount of the drug, or its bioavailability, that eventually enters the bloodstream and is absorbed by the body. For speed of action, sublingual administration offers the quickest absorption, followed by buccal and then oral. Both buccal and sublingual routes bypass the liver's first-pass effect, where hepatic metabolism reduces the amount of the drug available for circulation, unlike oral administration. Oral administration is the easiest to use and generally more patient-friendly, particularly for long-term therapies. Sublingual and buccal drugs must be formulated to dissolve quickly and completely in the saliva, which is not a requirement for oral medications. Now let's take a look at what each of the terms oral, buccal, and sublingual refers to. Oral administration, known medically as per os, PO, involves the ingestion of medication through the mouth. It is the most common, convenient, and usually the safest technique of drug administration. The medication is swallowed or chewed, then passes through the gastrointestinal tract. Oral route provides for the safest way to administer medications, although it is the slowest way for the drug to reach its intended site. Once ingested, the drug undergoes absorption primarily in the small intestine. Before entering the bloodstream, it passes through the hepatic portal circulation, the venous system that returns blood from the digestive tract and spleen to the liver, where it may undergo first-pass metabolism by the liver before ultimately entering the bloodstream. Oral administration is the most common route for a wide range of conditions due to its convenience and patient compliance. It's suitable for solid forms like tablets and capsules, as well as liquids like syrups. Examples of oral medications are ACE inhibitors and beta blockers for hypertension. Oral hypoglycemic agents like metformin are used to manage blood sugar levels, and antibiotics like amoxicillin are administered orally for various bacterial infections. Buccal administration, however, involves placing the drug between the gum and the inner cheek, or buccal mucosa. The medication is held in place, allowing it to dissolve gradually and be absorbed directly through the mucous membranes lining the cheek. Drugs administered buccally bypass the liver's first-pass metabolism, leading to potentially higher bioavailability compared to oral administration. This route is particularly useful for drugs that are rapidly inactivated by stomach acids or those that undergo extensive first-pass hepatic metabolism. It's often used for drugs requiring rapid absorption, but not as immediate as sublingual administration. When administering medicine buccally, you should alternate cheeks to minimize irritation of the mucus lining of the cheeks. Additionally, instruct the patient not to eat or drink during buccal drug administration and not to swallow the medication. Examples of buccal drugs are buccal fentanyl, used for rapid pain relief in cancer patients, and midazolam, which can be administered buccally for acute management of seizures or severe anxiety episodes. Finally, sublingual administration involves placing the drug under the tongue, where it dissolves and is absorbed into the bloodstream through the sublingual mucosa. The drug is placed beneath the tongue and allowed to dissolve. The sublingual area, being highly vascular, facilitates rapid absorption of the drug. This route also avoids first-pass hepatic metabolism, where its bioavailability would be reduced, offering a swift and efficient route into the systemic circulation. The sublingual route is favored for certain cardiovascular drugs, steroids, and enzymes. Common examples are nitroglycerin tablets given sublingually for quick relief of chest pain and epinephrine sublingual tablets used for rapid response to severe allergic reactions. Now let's look at the procedures for the different routes for administering drugs through a patient's mouth. Regardless of the medication, its form, or its route for administration, you should always follow these basic protocols when preparing medications. 
observe hand hygiene. Double check the patient information to make sure you are giving the medication to the correct patient and to be aware of potential allergies. Refer to the medication administration record, or MAR, to see when the medication was last administered. Obtain the required medication in the correct dose and check the expiration date and gather any equipment needed to administer the drug. This preparation saves time and increases safety. For oral administration, you should first observe proper hand hygiene procedures to prevent the spread of infection, since you may have to touch the medication. Next, obtain the prescribed medication, a glass of water or appropriate fluid for swallowing, and any required equipment, such as a medication cup or pill splitter. Remember that you do not split or crush time-release or extended-release medications. Remove the medication from its packaging, avoiding touching it if possible, and prepare the correct dose. If necessary, use a pill splitter for accurate dosing. If you are administering medications to multiple patients, label each medication cup with the patient's name and medication details. It is important to note that you should only split pills that are scored at their center. Unscored tablets should not be split unless directed in the order, and then only with a pill cutter. When you get to the patient, inform them about the medication they are receiving, its purpose, and how to take it. Ensure the patient is in a comfortable position, usually sitting up or with the head of the bed elevated to facilitate swallowing. Hand the medication to the patient, or if necessary, assist them in taking it. Offer water or another appropriate fluid to aid swallowing. Make sure the patient swallows the medication and does not hold it in her mouth or cheek. This involves asking the patient to raise their tongue and expose the space between their cheek and gum. It is also good practice to check the patient's hands, as they may try to save the medication for purposes other than therapeutic reasons. For buccal administration, you would observe all the same preparation protocols as you would for oral administration, except you won't need to have water for pill swallowing, but you will need gloves to wear once you administer the medication. In addition to checking the appropriate patient information, for buccal administration, you should also do a quick physical assessment of the patient's mouth. Check for sores, inflammation, or any condition that might affect medication absorption. If there are no concerning physical conditions, you can proceed with administration. Wearing gloves, remove the medication from its package without touching it directly. Explain the procedure to the patient, including how the medication should be placed in the mouth. Ask the patient to open their mouth. Place the medication in the buckle pouch, the area between the gum and cheek, alternating sides if the medication is given more than once a day to prevent mucosal irritation. Advise the patient to keep the medication in place in the buckle pouch until it dissolves completely without chewing or swallowing it immediately. Finally, for sublingual administration, you will follow the same preparation processes as before. Be sure to wear gloves for sublingual administration. Wearing gloves, remove the medication from its package without touching it directly. Explain the procedure to the patient, including how the medication should be placed in the mouth. In addition to checking the appropriate patient information, for sublingual administration, do a quick physical assessment of the sublingual area beneath the patient's tongue. Check for sores, inflammation, or any condition that might affect medication absorption. Explain the process and the importance of not swallowing the medication immediately. Ask the patient to lift their tongue. Place the medication under the tongue and instruct the patient to allow it to dissolve completely without chewing. After completing any medication administration, regardless of route, be sure to record it in the patient's medical record, including the time and any observations. You should observe the patient for any immediate adverse reactions or side effects and ensure that the medication is achieving its intended effect. In summary, there are many different routes for medication administration, including oral, buccal, and sublingual administration. Oral administration, known medically as per os, PO, involves the ingestion of medication through the mouth. Oral medication is swallowed or chewed and passes through the gastrointestinal tract. Buccal administration involves placing the drug between the gum and the inner cheek, or buccal mucosa, where it dissolves gradually and is absorbed directly through the mucous membranes lining the cheek. Sublingual administration involves placing the drug under the tongue, where it dissolves and is absorbed into the bloodstream through the sublingual mucosa. Each route of administration, oral, buccal, and sublingual, has specific indications based on the required speed of drug action, the nature of the drug, and the condition being treated.